Hello and welcome back to Applied Imagery. We are pleased to announce the release of QT Modeler version 8.3.2. In this release we have added a tool to measure object heights in dense point clouds such as trees and power lines, a tool to vectorize a point cloud or surface model based on point level attributes, a snap to highest local point mode, a totally revamped helicopter landing zone toolkit, and a tool to accelerate applied imagery support and troubleshooting. Jumping right in, the completely revamped helicopter landing zone analysis toolkit provides a much more detailed advanced analysis of potential HLZs. Users now have the option to specify a helicopter size and desired slope parameters, and QT Modeler will show past and marginal locations, as well as areas of potential rotor strikes, as well as the ability to highlight smaller obstructions within the HLZ. While there are many settings available to the power user, there is still a basic setting that provides a simple and fast HLZ result from preset helicopter parameters. We've also included a toolbar for all the typical associated ancillary tools such as flight services, bounding boxes, stencils, and more. Vertical drop lines. QT Modeler's all new drop line tool provides a quick, easy, and information rich vertical measurement tool that drops a line from any point straight down to the ground or straight up to the highest point nearby. A drop line vector will persist in the scene and appear in a drop line subfolder in the layer tree under the vectors folder. It is very useful for measuring individual tree heights, power lines, and vertical objects, particularly in dense point clouds. The histogram gives an intuitive, quantified view of vertical point distribution in the analysis cylinder. Snap the highest local point. Finding the exact point that represents the top of tree canopy or utility pole has always been tricky. Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.3.2 adds a simple method to find the highest local point and act upon it. Using the existing point query tool with the shift hotkey like normal, but also holding down H to have the point query cursor snap to the highest local point. Once the local high point is located, click to open the normal point query info window or right click to place a drop line or press M to place a marker. Vectorization Toolkit Quick Terrain Modeler's Vectorization Toolkit automatically creates vectors around user-defined areas in a point cloud or surface model. These areas must have existing attributes that are the foundation of the user-defined vectorization rules. The source attributes can be built in LAS point attributes such as classification or intensity, or they can be QTM created attributes such as line of sight, HLZ, or slope analysis shown here. Terrain X Tool. Quick Terrain Modeler's Terrain X Tool is a permanent annotation vector that users can edit to document the length, width, slope, and heading in the terrain. It is very useful for annotating helicopter landing zones and other areas of terrain where down track and cross track slopes are vital knowledge. Troubleshooting Report Tool. Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.3.2 provides a tool that accelerates applied imagery support and troubleshooting. In the Help menu, choose Contact Applied Imagery Support. QTM will zip up all the log files and configuration files into a single zip file that can be emailed to Applied Imagery to expedite support diagnostics. The Transform Tool. Quick Terrain Modeler adds a tool to move models in the X, Y, and or Z axis. Right click on the model and choose Transform. Simply add values to one or more models in the X, Y, and or Z position. Those are the highlights of Quick Terrain Model of version 8.3.2. New features are often based on your feedback, so keep the good ideas coming. If you would like further information on Quick Terrain Modeler and the new features available in version 8.3.2, please don't hesitate to contact us. So long.